have them pull their shoe, toes to their shins and get a, a little wider than their shoulders at the feet, as though they were standing tall and pressed in a good position. From here, if Spencer brings his knee up and leaves his heel roughly in line with his other knee, leaves his hips square and his shoulders are square, he's going to be, you know, looking like this. Right? If you can't see, it's your fault. So gather around if you want to. From here, he's going to make a fist. And remember the shoulder packing drill we did earlier? I'm going to have Spencer open his hand. He's going to shake my hand. And he's going to relax his shoulder. And this is unpack. We can agree on that, correct? Spencer's going to do the same thing. I'm going to do that plank drill. I want him to not let me pull him off the floor. So he goes solid. That is a packed shoulder. That shoulder will not come unpacked through this entire drill. He makes a fist. He balances the shoe on the fist. What do we got? All right. Smaller shoe. Super easy cue. Point your elbow at your toes. Box that in. Thumb up. Elbow down. Shoulder is packed. Neck is neutral. When he says point my elbow at my toes, did you see what happened? <coughs> here. Now look, I'm still in the fighting range position, but my elbow's in the wrong spot. If I point my elbow at my toes, shoulder screws in. Everybody see it? Is that a yes? Yeah. Cool. Palm position on this side. I prefer to have them line their thumb up roughly with the top of their femur, and that's good enough. This hand is going to want to move around. A little bit of movement is okay. Not want them jumping all over the place, and I'll under you'll, you'll understand why when you try to do this and lose all of the space for your hips to move. From here, Spencer is going to roll over into that first piece of the armbar position where he rolls up to his shoulder. He's extending his thoracic spine, he's lifting his chest up. His neck is neutral. He's from this position going to drive his heels into the floor and come up to his elbow. His chest is still coming up and driving up. Nice thoracic spine extension, neutral neck. His eyes stay on the kettlebell or the shoe. From here, he rolls up to his palm. And he's got a solid line from here through his body into the floor. And you notice the see space that. between his shoulders and his neck. Okay. So he has not lost his shoulder pack, and he has not lost his shoulder pack here. Lose it on both sides. So if you see this, that's a problem. If you see this, that's pretty good. Good thoracic spine extension. Uh, high bridge amount. Sure. All right. He goes into the high bridge, meaning big, good hip extension. Both hips extended. Glutes are obviously engaged here. If they are not, you will know right away. He's going to bring this knee in line with this hand. He now has one, two, three points of contact, straight line from the weight of the belt all the way into the floor. He is solid in what would be triangle pose if you want from yoga. Spine is still neutral. Good thoracic spine extension. Eyes still on the belt. From here, he's going to make a side bend, and eyes go neutral to the horizon. That is an important piece. He sweeps his leg in line, so he's going to bring this leg around <coughs> and line up. I prefer toes under. If you have a grappler, that is a different story. Do not worry about that now. I do not like toes flat. Go flat. I do not like this position for the general population. It is hard. Toes under. He's going to drive up into that top of the inline lunge. Does that look familiar? So he was there for a second in the inline lunge, came all the way to tall, right? From here, he's going to go back in reverse. Still got good thoracic spine. He's going to rotate his leg. He's going to push his hips out, not back, but out to the side. Eyes go back to the bell, palm in line with knee. From here, he's going to scoop through and sit back down. Now he's going to go to his elbow, <coughs> to his shoulder. Notice he never loses thoracic spine extension, and he does not lose shoulder pack. He does not lose a neutral spine. If he had a kettlebell, and even if he doesn't, he's going to take both hands, go up, bring it down to the center of his chest, roll over to the side that he's got it on, never crossing his body with the kettlebell, and dump it. Anybody want to see that again? Yeah, look at that. It's nice. 